Whether you call it the Rogers Center or Sky Dome, that giant concrete blob next to the CN Tower was not the first home of baseball in Toronto. Welcome to Then and Now, the series that brings Toronto's past back to life. I am Morgan Cameron Ross, and today we're talking about the history of baseball stadiums in Toronto. Most of you have spent countless hours right here, the Sky Dome. I mean, Rogers, no, Sky Dome. But prior to the Sky Dome, the Blue Jays' home was at the cold and windy Exhibition Stadium. Here, on the CNE grounds. Look even further back, and you would have watched baseball in Toronto. Here, Maple Leaf Stadium, home of the Toronto Maple Leafs baseball team. And even further back, right here, Hanlon's Point Stadium. Hanlon's Point Stadium was actually a few different ones. It opened in 1897 as the home of the Toronto Maple Leafs Baseball Club. It would burn down twice in 1903 and 1909. It is most famously known as where Babe Ruth hit his first professional home run in 1914. In 1926, Maple Leaf Stadium opened at Bathurst and Fleet Street, right here. Check out this aerial photo of the stadium in 1947 and compare it to today. The 23,000 capacity stadium was used until the departure of the Maple Leafs in 1967, with the stadium demolished the following year. This brings on a decade, sadly, without baseball. In 1977, the CNE Stadium was converted to house the brand new Blue Jays. The stadium went from this to this, an awkward looking and cold space taking on the wind from the lake and a favorite spot for seagulls. The Jays would leave in 1989 and head to the beloved Sky Dome with Domer. Here is a look at what was there before. Trains. The answer is trains. 1983, the beginning of the Sky Dome in 87, near completion in 89, and now. Poof. As has been reported recently, the future of the Dome very much is up in the air. The opening of Sky Dome. That's it for this episode of Then and Now. I am Morgan Cameron Ross. Catch you next time on Narcity.